everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Corntail Buffalo, and today we are playing another episode of One Hour One Live. So, in the last episode, I attempted to make a glass funnel because I really wanted to give my twin some wine, but I didn't succeed. So, I'm going to re attempt that in this episode, but I must firstly be born in the black family so I can enter the desert and get some sand. Other than getting the sand, I would also need the family to have a new coming engine. So if they don't have that, I'm going to have to think of something else. There's still quite a few foods I need to make, such as fries, shrimp, a feast, if I ever get there. <laughs> so sit back, grab some snacks and relax and watch me fail. <laughs> Let's head in. Okay, so I'm in the ginger family, which isn't ideal. Um... Mother, do you care about me at all? <laughs> she does. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I thought she wasn't going to pick me up for a moment there. <laughs> oh, I'm also a girl. Okay, so I'm going to face childbirth at some point in my life. <laughs> then again, I may be barren. Who knows? But we are very advanced, so I might get lucky and I might have to venture out to find the black family unless we already have some sand, which would be perfect for us. Or for me. Oh, okay. Saying hi, Buffalo. Hi. <laughs> I, I would like some pants, if that's available. <laughs> oh, the yellow looks good. Oh, she had another baby! Oh... No! <laughs> what? <laughs> I lost my little sister. Oh dear. So I have no doubt about this family having a new common engine. The only thing I need really is sand. So that will be achievable. Now that I know what I want to do and it shouldn't be too much of a stress. I do like yellow and she did give me yellow. <laughs> There's so many women here. <laughs> it's a very fertile land. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to have a quick li- Oh, no, put that down. <laughs> I'm going to have a quick little venture and see what we have to work with. They've already got some flasks and things. Mm, and the new comment, they've got two actually. Wow, this place is brimming. Now, do we have any sand? Right, as I'm running around, look at the decor they have done on this grave. That's impressive. <laughs> it looks really good. <laughs> okay, so I had a quick run around. And I very much doubt we have any sand deposits laying around. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to work on setting up the other equipment that I need. So I need to make a blowpipe. So I can achieve that just laying around here, I think. I'll need the blowpipe later. Um, in the process of making the funnel, so it's probably a good time to start now, I think. So we're going to get started on that. So firstly, I need to get myself a U-log, or a U-shaft. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie, guys, this place was looking a bit barren for you trees. so I think I'm going to have to venture out a little to actually get myself the opportunity of getting one. Right, so yeah, I'm going to step out for a moment, I don't think out of the town to just try and find a u-shaft here we go plenty of u-shafts around here <laughs> so i didn't wait i didn't need to do all that oh my gosh guys <laughs> the u-shaft is literally just to get wood i should really scroll down further on this tech tree thing <laughs> so <laughs> ignore all that i was just being silly um and not paying attention to what i actually need to be doing so firstly <laughs> I'm going to need to use a steel ingot and I'm going to need to burn that down to actually get myself a pipe or a steel rod. So the ingots already, there's plenty, there's plenty around. Let me just break this down at least. At least I got some wood now, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm just going to use one of the ingots and I also need to load up the, which one do I need? I need the roller, I think. Yeah, I need the newcomer roller. That's the lathe. So there's a roller mechanism here, so let's just switch that out. And let's load it up. 
So I'll try to make as many as I can because I think it's probably best rather than, you know, completely being wasteful. Now, I have to work quickly, which is something I don't seem to be able to grasp sometimes. <laughs> so we're going to get the, the oven, the forge fired up. And then once we get that fired up, we're going to need to cook these ingots as quickly as possible. So when the ingots are hot, we're going to stick it into the roller. And then that should give us a pipe. So I'm going to try and do that quickly. <laughs> okay, let's go. There we go. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. We do another one. I think six. Six is fine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> got plenty of steel rods. Nice and happy. Now that we've got the steel rods, I need to make a steel pipe. So to do that, I'm going to need to use the bore mechanism now. Where's the... Do we not have a bore mechanism? I'm actually surprised. I don't think we own a bore mechanism. Okay. Um... <laughs> what? I suppose you just make it by using the... One of these steel blades. So if I make a steel blade... I should be able to create, I think I'll have to make that rope. So I've got to work on that. I'm going to have to make a rubber belt for that. So let's just figure that out, I suppose. I mean, I made a, a vulcanized rubber belt before. It's just whether or not we have the latex. I think I'll be venturing out to get some. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to find the brown family for this one. <laughs> but first I need to actually have paper to write stuff on. So I'm going to use one of these papers and I think I'm just going to have to write something. And we're like, can we get some latex, please? <laughs> Alright, let's break down this charcoal. Have we got any flint chips around? Here we go. Let's make myself a little pencil. I'm going to ask for some latex. There we are. Could I get some latex, latex please? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to have to go find... Oh, I'm going to have to go find the brand family. You know what, let's bring my pencil. <laughs> and see if I can nab this horse. I'm going to have to get me some food, actually, for the journey. Oh, that was his horse. Oh. Right, so I'm craving cooked berry pie. Cooked berry pie. So I'm going to keep that with me because the journey will be long. And I'm going to need to take a bucket or two, I think. If I can steal a horse, that would be great, but... Can't be too optimistic. Seems like we only had the one horse. <laughs> this might be an on foot job. <laughs> right, is there any more buckets? I might, maybe three or four. I think four is a healthy number of latex. <laughs> maybe even six if I can. <laughs> Why not? Then again, oh, someone took the trolley. Oh. I just realized I can probably only carry like three, so having six buckets is probably not wise. Oh, there it is. Steal this. Now to find the mosquito land. Can I steal the horse? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow the horse. I need it, it's for an important journey. <laughs> right, let's follow let's follow the route. Let's see what this takes us. Hopefully it'll take me to a mosquito infested land and then i can follow the marker hopefully right um jungle family that is what i need isn't it it is right let's go hey, you're going the wrong way what you're going the wrong way he said we're going the wrong way oh he's drunk how would he know where we're going yeah, how would he know? Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Got a little bit scared there. Did that. I suppose I can go towards the desert family. But well, I'll probably need the basket for that. Have I found the brand family? Where is everyone? Is this town deserted? It is this town really deserted? Oh, wow. They've got stew and everything. You know 
what, I'm gonna help myself to a snack. <laughs> I mean, no one else is using it, right? Oh, see, are you still there? Okay. Let's get some broth in me. Okay, horsey, you need to chillax, okay? This place is dead. There is no one here. I hope not the leader. People are dying. I really hope this wasn't the brown family. But at least we know there's food down here. Alright, let's get back up. And we're going to keep following the road. What is that meant to say? Just the... I'm beginning to doubt that I'm going to be able to find the Brown family going this way. It just says IV again. That's... <laughs> no, if, if I said I, I assume these are Roman numerals. So that was one and then four? What does that mean? I don't understand. I think I'm going to be heading back soon because this does not look positive. I mean, someone made this road for a reason. Surely they wouldn't make this road if there wasn't something at the end of it. It's just that I don't know how far away I am. I've been running for so long. 1-1-M-1. One, one, one. What does that mean? Oh, I just don't know how long to keep going. Okay, at least there's another turn off here. Hopefully this will actually take me to the Brown family because I've been running for so long. And I feel bad not being able to open up anything for anyone. Please don't tell me this is another deserted land. What is going on? Where is everyone? Why is everyone dying? Okay, I'm going to have to head back. I, <laughs> I might just have to... <laughs> I tried to take a whole plate of burritos. <laughs> right, can I... What's worth taking here? I can't believe everyone's just passed away around here. This is ridiculous. Um, maybe if I get rid of the top, I can actually take a plate of food. Can you stop, horsey? Right, can I take a plate of food? I can't. <laughs> I can take... Can I take a single burrito? I'm just stealing. <laughs> you know what? Let's leave the charcoal. I don't need that. I'm go yeah, I'm going to have to head back. Because I can't be out here. <laughs> like this. Okay, got myself a Hubbard squash. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's head back. So this journey was somewhat fruitless. <laughs> a fruitless venture. Come on, horsey. Let's get out of here. Ooh, wait. I should really check if they have any of the stuff I want first before I run away. Oh, they got fish. Oh, I can't even put that in my bag. Okay. Do they have a bore mechanism? <laughs> Do they? Why does no one seem to have a bore mechanism around this place? <laughs> I think I need a pulley drive, don't I? So if I can steal this pulley drive, I should be okay. <laughs> I'm a thief! Yeah, I just need to steal a pulley drive. <laughs> But can I do that is the question. Let's try dropping a couple of stuff, shall we? I'm going to think that the answer is no. That I can't just take it like that. Horsey, you need to chill. Can you stay in here, please? Darn it, I can't steal it. <laughs> hey, horsey, come back. No, you don't. Let me lock you in here. <laughs> Alright, let's just get back my stuff that I was trying to take. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm such a little thief. A failed one at that. I'm not a very good thief, it seems. You know what? What is a camshaft? Let's just take that. All I want is a rope. Or latex. You know, I'm happy with either. <laughs> a rubber mask with string. Huh? What do I do with that? Okay. Apparently, I can't put it on my face, so. Pointless. I might have to search around that other town, the abandoned one, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, I'm going to say this place is a no-go, so I think I'll head back. I've not really done anything really with my life. I'm probably not that far off either from the jungle family, but I'm a bit scared of being out here. And not actually, oh, and not actually know where I'm going. That's the worst part. Like, I've, I've seen no evidence at all of the jungle family being around so i'm a bit worried that they've just all died pretty much so yeah i decided to just make the long journey back it's gonna take a while but it's a it's a straight road <laughs> we just have to sit back for a while right i'm gonna make my turn off real quick um at the town that i was at previously the dead town just to see if you know they've uh, 
got anything that I'm interested in. Uh, just rubber tires. Which isn't exactly what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> <gasps> a vulcanized rubber tire! Is that what I need? No, I need a rubber belt. Oh. Uh, I mean, by the time I get back, someone's probably already made <laughs> a mechanism, you know. Wait, is this truck for free? I might have to tell someone about that. Just tell them that there's a, a, dead, a dead village down here with some goodies and we might want to benefit from it <laughs> yeah i'll go tell them about the the goodies that are down here so there's an abandoned and dead village i should have really marked the other one um but forgot to do so <laughs> but i think this is close enough for us not to worry so much about finding or making the journey really oh the jungle family's been down this way all this time i'm such an idiot <laughs> Long enough. I've missed this whole this opportunity. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, that was me being silly. Like, I spent this whole time, this whole time, trying to find the jungle family, only to realise that I missed. I'm so sorry. Where is everyone? Are we dying? I'm thinking our family might die. No leader. Okay, um, I mean, I very much doubt that me leaving caused all this. Oh, there's a Pocono's rubber tire. But I needed, I didn't need that. Um, so I think we might end up passing away too. We, we started off so strong and this is where we are now. So, yay. There's no point passing this information on. We're already, we're already gonna die. I don't think I'm the leader. Oh. Oh, I'm the leader! I didn't realise I was the leader this whole time! <laughs> I didn't realise I was the leader! So this whole time I've run around. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> and I was just saying that... Um, <laughs> I was really just saying that I'm not... <laughs> The reason that the family's dying. I've been running around this whole time just doing nothing. <laughs> I am the worst. Oh my gosh. When did I become the lead? Is it because I've been away this whole time? I didn't realise the fact that it said no leader meant that I was the leader. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gingers. I'm I'm oblivious to what's going on. Wow, I am the worst leader. There is no doubt. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forget I could also use the radio. <laughs> oh, someone's gonna bring aid. They're gonna bring pregnant people. <laughs> well, maybe not pregnant. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I talked to some people and they might send a feed fertile woman over. That's amazing. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Changing into my royal colours. <laughs> oh, yay baby. <laughs> we needed a baby. Thank goodness. Yay, another baby. <laughs> oh my god, we're getting so lucky. We are getting lucky with babies right now. <laughs> So of course this was another failed episode of trying to make a flask because I just don't seem to be able to do it <laughs> because I was incompetent at realising that the jungle family was right underneath me and I almost led the ginger family into ruin. So I haven't forgotten that I can simply just communicate, you know, it's not that hard. I'm just staring at Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> We're saved. It's a miracle. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I'm just going to let myself die of old age. <laughs> what do you mean, they say? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> we had two girls. So we're good for now. <laughs> we only have people here. Me and Leader. Oh, really? 
Oh dear, they are suffering, both mm. women. Oh, hopefully they can, they can uh, have kids. Whoa! <laughs> You're a baby popping machine. Aww. You're a baby popping machine, Ida. <laughs> It's time for me to pass being a terrible leader that I was. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna give my command to Amelia just before I pass. <laughs> Goodbye, Amelia. <laughs> I really hope I followed Amelia, not the other person that just came, because that could be bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't actually complete making that funnel. <sighs> what a disaster. <laughs> I'm not the best leader. I completely didn't realize that I inherited leadership. So that threw me a little bit. So I guess that, that's just my, that's just my fault. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed watching me fail. It's what I said I was going to do. I didn't plan it, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.